Welcome to Follow Beans Family Vlog. In today's episode, we will show you how we cut down a fresh Christmas tree. I can't believe it, but in the next three weeks, nanjana naman ang Christmas. And Follow Beans Family loves Christmas. Medyo not in a good mood yung gising ni baby, dahil it's almost 11 na nung ginising namin siya. Pag hindi pa namin siya ginising, siguro derecho ang tulog niya hanggang alas 12 or noon ng hapon. For today's episode, kasama namin si Mom C. Bean and Pop C. Bean. Plano talaga nilang mag-cut down ng Christmas tree today. Luckily for us, we get to tag along. We pull up to a nearby Christmas tree farm, somewhere around Langley area. Fern Christmas tree forest. Yan. Now, here in Canada, it's a bit of a festive kind of a family event. Not everyone gets to Christmas cut down tree. or chooses to cut down a fresh Christmas tree. Some people love a fresh Christmas tree and others just use the regular plastic Christmas tree bought from the store. Pero kami, we enjoy this uh, festive season of cutting down our own Christmas tree because masaya siya and it's a good way to bond with family. Kita nyo naman, most of the Canadians here are with their families and they're really enjoying themselves. Sa farm na to, you can choose to borrow their tools. So they have these manual saws which would be helpful in cutting down the tree. And of course, they have these wagons for you to use. Pagkatapos mo makat down yung tree para hindi mo na siya bitbitin sa shoulder mo. <laughs> and dito, you will see some of the pricing for the different kinds of trees. Hindi ko alam, may iba't iba pa pala mga Christmas tree ha. Merry Dogless Fur as well as a Nober Fur which is the most expensive. They start from $10 a foot up to $15 a foot. So pagtaas ng tree mo, Pagmahal ng babayaran mo. Most of these Christmas tree farms are privately owned. So, mga farmers sila na may iba't iba silang business. During this season, ang business nila is to sell Christmas trees. Kita niyo yung mga malilit na yan? They're called seedlings. And apparently, it takes four to five years for one seedling oh. Christmas tree to grow into a big Christmas tree. And medyo underdressed si Papa Bean ngayon. Siya lang naman ang brave soul na nakashort this time. Kahit na zero degrees ngayon. Yan, lakad-lakad lang kami around the farm. And unfortunately, wala kami makita na medyo matangkad. Kasi mostly, Mga short shave, at least mga 3 to 4 feet. Yan si Mama Bean. Talagang ginaw na ginaw na. Baby Bean is just staying warm with his onesie. Nothing. Unfortunately, we could not find the right Christmas tree, so we decided to go and check out another Christmas tree farm around the area. So why choose a fresh Christmas tree over a box Christmas tree? It really just boils down sa preferences nyo. One of the great benefit of a fresh Christmas tree is it's organic. So pagkatapos ng Christmas season, it will be dry enough to turn into wood chips or pwedeng going firewood as well as fertilizer. In a way, it reduces your carbon footprints if you want to look at it that way. Nagutom na si Baby Bean. This particular area where we are at is a farm area. So they have all sorts of farm businesses. Keto, agricultural, etc. Nakarating kami sa next Christmas tree farm. Pero maliliit pa rin yung mga Christmas trees nila. Kaya naman, we went home empty-handed. Pero okay lang, we can try again next weekend. We got home and yan, nag-dinner na si baby. Nahiligan niyang kumain ng noodles. Ang dinner namin tonight is pansit. Yum! 
So the following Saturday, nag venture out si Mumsy Bean, Popsy Bean, and Baby Bean to look for a fresh Christmas tree. Wala na kami dito. Nasa Mexico na kami at this time. So this is a great way to hang out nang sila sila lang para naman mailabas si Baby Bean. Fresh na fresh tong snow na to ngayon. Ito ang fresh snowfall this season here in the lower mainland. Ang gandang tingnan ng snow pero wag ka. Halos lahat dito ng Vancouverites don't like to drive in the snow. Bonding sila ni Pop Sibin. It looks like they found the right tree. I think they went with a Douglas fir. May taas siya ng mga 9 to 10 feet. Yan ginamita na ni Pop Sibin ng saw to chop down the tree. After makat, Iniload up na ni Popsy Bean sa taas ng kanyang van ang tree. Itinali siya ng maayos para hindi siya matangay ng hangin habang nagda-drive. Final check and off they went. Yan si Baby Bean and our pet dog na si Miro are ready to go. All that is left is to decorate this beautiful tree. And here it is, our lovely Christmas tree. Dito kina Popsy Bean and Momsy Bean's house, they take Christmas decorations to another level. And this ends our vlog for today. We'll see you on the next vlog. Merry Christmas and stay festive!